fish and chips. And I think the very best fish to make fish and chips with is turbo. It's firm, it's got great flavour. And you know you want a fish which is about six, seven pounds, so you get a nice thick fillet. Remove the skin, off with the skirt. That's stage one done. What we're going to make now is the batter. I use no eggs. Beer, yeast, flour. This is ale. The yeast, we just, just dissolve that in, and then, little bit by bit, add the flour. So what I'm looking for is a consistency which will cling to my fish. Into the fryer. We've got our chips. When I cut chips, I like a proper chip. If the potato's that long, then that's how long the chip is. That's the way it's meant to be. These are Morris Pipers, which are very good potatoes. So my batter has started to ferment. That's ready now to be used. So what we're going to do is take our turbot, just dust it in flour, plain flour. Some people like to season it, I don't, because I'm going to put my seasoning on at the end. It's quite vicious, this. God, I always wanted to work in a chip shop. Blanch at 110 degrees Celsius. Drain, let them cool, but then fry them again at 130 degrees Celsius. And that's how you get the perfect chip. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. A piece of turbo like this is about five minutes at 130. That's a big piece of fish. You need a hammer to get through it. Crunchy. That's an interesting basket. Oh, dear me. And like in the chippy, fish on top. <laughs> Makes the portion look big, that batter. Oh. Sensational. And of course, malt vinegar and salt. Now. Beautiful batter. If I had a chip shop, I'd bring all the guests down to the chip shop for the Great British Feast. Trust me. Oh. Amazing.